All right. So while you guys are getting um, some questions ready for us in the live chat, we actually did receive some questions throughout the week. Um, and we did receive a question from David. Laura, do you want to read it? Yes. So David um, asked on YouTube, hi, guys. Thanks so much for an amazing information that you guys are giving us. Well, I am an undergraduate international student and I'm planning to take a master's degree in construction, also to settle in New Zealand after finishing the program by the end of next year. But I'm still thinking or confused about which city I must go. I have an idea about Hamilton or Tauranga because I am... I'm seeking for jobs, business opportunities, cost of life. Thank you so much for your help. All right, so basically in this video, we're going to need to compare um, uh, life in Taranga and in Hamilton. And both cities are located in the North Island of New Zealand, and they're actually not too far from each other. They're about like a couple of hours drive. Yeah, it's only yeah. about two hours drive. All right, so they're both a little bit south of Auckland, and they're both going to have really different kind of appeal. So because we are a travel channel, just before we start talking about job opportunities or anything like that, we're going to give you a little bit of the few first, uh, first fun things to do in those cities. Laura, do you want to start with Hamilton? What is that fun to do in Hamilton well, all um, around? Yeah, so Hamilton is a pretty central city. And what is so cool about that is that it's really close to some really good attractions that you might have heard of. For instance, Waitomo, if you've heard about the Waitomo Caves with the glowworms and the caving activities, that is only, um, I think it's less than two hours away in one direction. Or if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, you can go to Hobbiton, which is maybe only an hour away in the other direction. Um, and, what if you're into surfing? And if you're into surfing, you can also make your way to the little town of Raglan, which is famous for its consistent surf and all the surf schools it has there. So that's only um, under two hours away as well. So basically, basically, Hamilton's a really good base if you want to explore the North Island. Um, and in terms of what's actually in the city, you have all your usual city things and entertainment like that. But they're also famous for their gardens, the Hamilton Gardens, um, which are different themed gardens. It's a free attraction to go to as well, which is always handy if you're a student. Um, and it's also famous for the Waikato River, which is the longest river in New Zealand. And they have a really good um, number of hikes and, bo uh, and bike trails and stuff that go along the along the river so that's always a fun thing to do actually in the city as well all right and then we have toranga on the other hand very different uh, pace of life what yes. is there fun things to do in Toranga. So Toranga is actually on the coast of the North Island, like we said before, about a couple of um, hours away from Hamilton. And Toranga is a really good place to go. If you want to sort of live in a city that's maybe a little bit more scenic, there's um, one of the famous suburbs there is Mount Monganui, which has a bit of a volcanic mountain. You can go and hike up to get some really awesome views. It has long, sweeping golden sand beaches. If you're really into the beach and stuff, they have all that there. Um, um, so yeah, basically Taranga is a, a really good place if you want to sort of be in a place that's just a, I don't know, it's just a better looking city than Hamilton, if that's not too controversial to say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, well, you know, you, you've got to have an opinion at some point. So, yeah. yeah. So um, job wise, both cities are also extremely different. Um, because Toranga is uh, very close to some of the um, most known kind of uh, part-time jobs or, or, you know, seasonal jobs in the country, which is um, anything to do with kiwi fruit, um, kiwi fruit picking. So there is picking, there is packing, there is pruning, there is there is ton of things, all and the there is stuff everything in between, in between, yeah. and all that. And uh, all of that is only a, a few minutes away drive from Toranga, and that allows you to almost guarantee yourself a job when you do need one. Also, it's quite flexible. So if you're planning on either being a student or, 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 or wanting to save quite a lot of money, you can literally just do that for like a day or a week or something that they always need some workers. So you always can fall back onto this kind of industry as well. But Toranga is also a very touristy kind of city. As Laura mentioned, it is a coastal city. So there is a lot of things to do here with tourism and that attracts a lot of people, but that also creates a lot of jobs. 
any kind of hospitality jobs is uh, is extremely prominent in Turinga. It's everything between uh, uh, from uh, working in hotel motels, you know, on the cleaning, on the receptions, porters, all those kind of jobs, as well as uh, more on the kind of uh, retail side. So um, you know, restaurants and and waiters and dishwashers and, and all those kind of things. Um, speaking of retail, retail is also extremely prominent in Turanga. It is one of the largest cities of New Zealand and so is Hamilton. So there is a lot of uh, shopping malls and when there is shopping mall, they also need a lot of retail workers. Retail work um, encompasses all ton of different things. That's uh, stacking the shelf, uh, cash share, salespeople, um, warehouse, deliveries, all those kind of jobs as well. Extremely available in the area of Turanga and they need a lot of help for that. So there is a few uh, major um, shopping centers around Turanga. So there is the Mengatapu shopping center, there is Godard shopping center, and there is also um, Bayfair. Oh, God, what is going on? <laughs> Bayfair. I don't know why my piece of paper is flying all around. The ghosts. Yeah, there's a ghost in this house <laughs> right here. All right, so that's for Turanga, and that's kind of like the job market there. Now, the one thing I need to keep in mind is that usually finding a place to rent in Turanga is a little bit more on the expensive side, and um, you have to keep that you have to keep that in mind. The housing market in Turanga is a bit tough, so we expect to pay more for rent in, uh, in Turanga than you would be paying in Hamilton. Which is my perfect segue to talk about Hamilton. Wow. So I uh, didn't see that coming. No. So Hamilton, one of the good points of Hamilton is that because there is a ton of students over there, um, there is also a ton of affordable housing because, well, students need affordable housing. So you will be able to find some places for rent a little bit cheaper than you will be able to find in Hamilton. So in Toranga. Um, in Hamilton, um, the one thing you need to keep in mind for the job market is that, well, there there is a lot of students. So therefore, there is going to be a little bit more competition for job, but there is ton of jobs available there. There are a few industry related jobs for sure. There is a few farming jobs in the greater Hamilton area. It has a lot of dairy and a lot of other type of farming. So you can get those jobs quite easily as well. And then in the city center, there is ton and ton and ton of retail work, way more retail work and cafe work and everything. That's what we were talking about in Taranga. There is some really, really big shopping centers. So that's Chartwell, Center Place, and Tiawa Shopping Center. They're pretty big and that, you know, needs a lot of workers in there. So it's really handy um, um, to find jobs, you know, like I personally really like when looking for a job to be able to hit one place, like kind of a big shopping area and have like, you know, ton of options right there rather than, you know, having to travel quite far and wide to be, to, you know, to try to find some jobs. So that's really handy. Uh, Hamilton also uh, do have quite a fair bit of accommodation and uh, hospitality jobs available because it's kind of a big conference kind of area of New Zealand. There is um, there is major conferences of New Zealand that actually happen in Hamilton and not in Auckland. I'm thinking, for example, of something called the Field Days, which is the largest farming conference in New Zealand, and it's happening in Hamilton every year. I don't think it's happening this year, but obviously. Um, so at that point, there is a lot of motels and hotels that need a lot of staff and again that's housekeeping uh, receptions porters and, and and everything in between and there is also quite a fair bit of cafes but um that would be more to like the, the the bulk of the hospitality job would be more on the accommodation kind of side for hamilton um when it comes down to comparing uh, both cities it really depends on what's going to be your vibe and i cannot stress enough that i think you should travel a little bit to both cities to get yourself an impression don't you agree yeah absolutely and the good thing about those two cities like we already said is that they're only a couple of hours apart so it's very easy to travel between the cities there are um, intercity buses that go between them which is the national bus network of New Zealand that's a cheap way to get between those cities or you might want to consider buying yourself a car once you arrive in New Zealand which we have all that advice on on nzpocketguide.com as well as some videos on this channel all right and yes obviously what she says if you want to dive deeper into we have so much content on nzpocketguy.com and on this channel. So if you get out or just uh, give us some more questions on the comments of any of our videos and we'll pick them up during the live chat. Or if you're watching live right now, just put it in the live chat and we read all the comments. And obviously, if you guys find this video useful, if you find this live session useful, if you find what we do useful, a free way to reward us for all our hard work is to click like, is to subscribe, is to share a little bit of what we do. Uh, it's always super helpful. All right, let's Ooh. go back to live chat. What has been happening? Uh, 